Coming up this week, how to move to a more positive mindset in just 30 days. Hey everybody, it's Harry Kalimnios here from thethoughtgym.com, giving you the tips, the tools, the techniques to help you become that superhuman leader I know you can be. And this week, I wanna share with you a way that you can move from wherever you are to a more positive and optimistic mindset. This isn't to say we're looking about being happy clappy or positive thinking and ignoring the negative, but what we're trying to do is get a bit more balance into our lives because I think things are skewed towards the negative, especially if you're the victim of watching the news, reading lots of newspapers, um, diving into gossip at work, whatever it might be. And the reason why I think that it's more important to have a more positive, in fact, it's probably a, uh, a better representation of what's going on because there's more positive in the world than there is negative. It's just our senses are bombarded with the negative. But the reason that I think that you wanna have a bit more of a positive outlook, not only because it actually does help with your health, your well-being, your vitality, but also if you are a leader in an organization, if you want to progress, leaders, CEOs, heads of state, they want to bring up people who are more optimistic, more positive. They want to employ people who are, who are that way inclined. No one, and you can think about this yourself, no one really wants to be around a really pessimistic person, really miserable guts or anything like that. If you do, then okay, they say misery likes company, so fair enough, but maybe you're not watching this video in the first place if you're that kind of person. But if you're watching this video, I believe that you want to be a bit more of a positive person, look at the bright things. And I'll be honest here, I am naturally inclined to be someone who's a little bit more critical, let's say. I would probably make a really, really good editor of a, uh, a book or, or a newspaper or something like that because I can see the error quite quickly in things and I think it's a trait that many of us have and maybe that's because growing up we're always taught to look for the negative, we get our test results back and we've got seven ticks and three crosses and we kind of focus on that three crosses rather than the seven ticks that we got right. And like historically, through uh, evolution, we are designed to kind of look for danger, look for where things are out of place. Why is that footprint there when it shouldn't be? Maybe that's a lion or a tiger. So I completely understand this, this way that our minds work. However, things are skewed way, way, way towards the negative. So I'm gonna give you a quick, quick tip on how you can change your mindset in 30 days. I tell you, I kid you not, this will work for you. And it's simple as this, it is, creating a daily ritual of a gratitude log. I like to do it in the evening, a physical book that I write down three things that I'm grateful for that happened that day or that I'm grateful for in life in general. It might be that I'm grateful for the fact that I've got access to free libraries or that I don't have to walk 10 miles to get some clean water. It might be grateful that someone held the door open for me earlier today or that I'm grateful for you know, the sound of the rain on the, on the rooftops because it soothes me or whatever it might be. Or you might be grateful for your family, you might be grateful for that promotion, you might be grateful for the fact that you're able to read and write and write that in the first place. There's always something to be grateful for. When I started this practice, I initially wanted to do it for 30 days. After 30 days, I hope you'll find as well that it's gonna be so valuable that I just kept it up now, five and a half years. And I've gotta say, if there's the odd day when I don't do it because I'm traveling, I don't have that book with me, um, I feel like something's missing. It's become a bit of a ritual going to bed. And when you go to bed in that state of gratitude, your sleep is so much better than if you go to bed worrying about what's going on in the news or worrying about what's gonna happen at work tomorrow. When you can't do anything about it anyway when you're sleeping and your subconscious mind will continually work overnight. So make it work for something positive. I hope I've stressed this enough. I can't stress enough how impactful and how life-changing this will be. If you wanna shift, to a more positive mindset, a more optimistic mindset to improve your health, your chances at work, your relationships, then just taking two minutes, one minute, to write three things that you're grateful for each day, either first thing in the morning or last thing at night, or both, um, that's good too. Um, I like to do it last thing at night, I also sometimes do it in the morning, but you know, give it a go, have a practice, give it at least 30 days, report back to me uh, how it's changed your life. I know that there are many leaders, many, um, high performing individuals out there, gratitude always comes up and uh, you know, you've got to be grateful. If you're not grateful for what you've currently got, what makes you think you're gonna be grateful for what you're gonna want in the future? The universe isn't gonna give it to you because you're not already grateful for what you do have. I hope that makes sense to you. Please do give it a go. Do remember to share, subscribe, like this video. I think it can really help a lot of people out there. I think we all need a bit of optimism, a bit of positivity in our lives to uh, help us um, lead the way for other people. Until next time, 
Have a fantastic week. Stay strong. Stay super. Bye-bye.